Hi, welcome to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is Baiji Devan. Here we are going to solve October 2021 Pure Math 2 paper. This paper consists of 10 questions. Let's jump into question number 1. The first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion are given as 1 minus 4x and px square. We need to find the, find the value of this unknown k and p. So let's find the binomial expansion of 1 plus kx to the power 16 first. It's a power n plus nc1 a power n minus 1 b power 1 plus nc2 a power n minus 2 times b power 2. 1 power anything is 1 so when you expand it you will get 1 plus 16 kx plus 16 c2 16 c2 is 120 120 k square x square now compare the terms first term is 1 1 let's compare the second term so 16 kx is equal to minus 4x k is minus 4 over 16 minus 1 over 4 so we have compared these two already now compare the third term px square is equal to 120 k square x square so p is 120 times we just got k square so it's basically 120 divided by 16 you'll get 15 over 2 that's all we got the value of k as minus 1 over 4 p as 15 over 2 let's move on to next part of this question part b using the value of k found in part a find the term in x square in the expansion of g of x k g of x is 2 plus 16 x times i'm gonna write the expansion of this from part a it's 1 plus 16 kx 1 plus 16 k x plus 120 k square x square 120 k square is 1 over 16 x square do we need any other term we don't need any other term because when we are talking about x square in this whole expansion two times this will give you x square yep actually we need the x cube term because when you multiply this by x cube term the term with x cube the x and the x cube will be cancelled so you'll get x square so though we haven't calculated the term involving x cube in part a we have to calculate it now so we need to take that term now that term is going to be the fourth term 16 c3 16 c3 1 power 16 minus 3 just 1 and then second term power 3 you see we haven't calculated this term in part a but the moment we multiply these two that will give you x square so we have to take that term. so to find the term in x square x x square i am going to multiply these two so i will get 2 times 120 times 1 over 16 x square plus I'm going to multiply this with this so 16 times sorry 16 over x times 16 c3 16 c3 is 560 times k cube value of k is minus 1 over 4 k cube x cube simplify this that would be the term involving x square so the first one it's 2 times 120 times 1 over 16 is 15 actually 15 x square here the second term 16 times 560 times 1 over 4 cubed you get 140 but since it's minus it's going to be minus 140 you cancel this you'll get x square 
so 15 minus 140 is minus 125 x square that's all question number two now a sequence is defined by u1 the first term is 6 and there is a recurrence relation u n plus 1 is equal to k u n plus 3 they want you to find u3 in terms of k let's find u2 u2 can be written as k u1 plus 3 and replace u1 by 6 you'll get 6k plus 3 that's u2 now write the relation for u3 it's gonna be k u2 plus 3 using the recurrence relation now in the place of u2 sub in this so it's going to be k times 6k plus 3 plus 3 so u3 is going to be 6k square plus 3k plus 3 that's all let's move on to part b now they want you to find the summation of three terms sigma sorry not the summation of t three terms the summation is given already they want you to find the value of k so sigma n is equal to 1 to 3 u n can be written as u 1 plus u 2 plus u 3 and it's given us 117 so let's use u 1 u 2 u 3 from part a u 1 is 6 u 2 is 6 k plus 3 u 3 is 6 k square plus 3 k plus 3 put this 117 also this side and solve for k so you'll get 6k square plus 9k 6 plus 3 9 plus 3 12 12 minus this minus 105 is equal to 0 which is a quadratic so I'm gonna go to equation number 3 put the coefficients here 6 9 minus 105 I got 7 over 2 and minus 5 okay 7 over 2 but just write one step here k plus 5 times 2k minus 7 is equal to 0 you need to adjust a constant 3 here we got two k values that's when we need to read the question whether they mention anything about k it clearly says k is a positive constant so you need to finally write therefore k is equal to 7 over 2 that's all question number three we have a figure given a curve and some region is shaded below the curve from 2 to 14 the equation of the curve the function representing the curve is log x to the base 10 now they want you to find this area using the trapezium rule show that the area using trapezium rule show that the area is this so the limit is 2 to 14 it's a three mark question so what do you need to do first write x and y is equal to log x to the base 10 the x values are starting from 2 goes all the way to 14 and they will if there is no table usually they will mention the number of strips so first step you need to find the width of each strip which is b minus a over number of strips b is the upper limit a is the lower limit n is the number of strips 12 over 3 is 4 sorry 12 over number of strips is 4 right so h is 3 so start from the lower limit and keep on adding this h 2 plus 3 5 plus 3 8 plus 3 11 plus 3 stop there when you reach the upper limit so when you sub in 2 here it's going to be log 2 log 5 log 8 log 11 log 40 to the base 10 now using this table we can apply trapezium rule to find the area below the curve now before we calculate the area 2 to 14 log x to the base 10 dx using trapezium rule let's look at the level of accuracy they mentioned here explain uh, they, they want you to find the area to two decimal place okay 
so here what you need to write first h over 2 h is 3 3 over 2 times the first y value and the last y value log 2 plus log 11 plus 2 times sum of the rest of the y values log 5 log 8 log 11 so you see how I'm gonna sub in into my calculator 3 over 2 is 1.5 times log 2 plus log 11 apply laws of logarithm 2 times 11 log 22 plus 2 times this one you can just multiply 5 times 8 times 11 5 8s of 40 times 11 440 log Five weights of 40, 40 times 11, 440. Yes, 2 times, this log 22 is also correct. Okay, we're not getting the answer because we put log 11 here, it should be log 14. So 2 times 14 is supposed to be 28. So I'm going to go back this change it to 28 you'll get the answer 10.10 10. so this value is uh, 14 yes this is 40 the last value log 40 that's all 10.10 10 is answer now part b says explain how trapezium rule could be used to obtain a more accurate answer it's just the most common question one more question just you just write increase the number of strips increase the number of strips that's all you don't need to write anything else just write increase the number of strips to get the more accurate answer i'm gonna move on to part c now using your answer to part a what's the answer we got in part a integral 2 to 14 log x dx is equal to 10.10 now we need to calculate the value of this so basically we need to write this in terms of log x you see how I'm doing it you can write it as log x power half dx right and then by applying loss of logarithm you can put this number in front so it's going to be half integral 2 to 14 log x dx which is half times the answer from part a for this is 10.10 .10. so when you divide by 2 you'll get 5.05 is the answer let's move on to double i now you can write it as log 100 to the base 10 plus log a times b is log a plus log b isn't it log 100 to the base 10 is 2 so i'm going to put it as 2 dx separately and apply normal integration and the second one is integral log i can put this number in front so 3 log x to the base 10 dx so the first one when you integrate it becomes 2x you need to apply the limits the second one three times use the answer from party so here it's going to be 28 minus 4 28 when you upper when you sub in upper limit 4 when you sub in lower limit plus 30.30 so 30.30 plus 24 the answer is 54.30 that's all question number 4 now state the value of the remainder when f of x is divided by this we are going to use the remainder theorem first take it as equal to 0 and find the value of x you will get x is 3 over 2 now as per the remainder theorem when f of x is divided by this to find the remainder in this function replace x by 3 over 2 
So when you replace x by 3 over 2, this becomes 0. So the whole thing becomes 0. 21 minus 21 is the answer. Now you don't even need to sub in 3 over 2. If you look at it, it's in the form divisor times quotient plus or minus remainder. The divisor is 2x minus 3. The quotient may be x square minus 2. The number standing all alone here is the remainder. So it's just a one more question. You can straight away write minus 21. Part B says use factor theorem to show that x minus 3 is a factor. If x minus 3 is a factor, when you sub in 3 into the function, you should get 0. So 3 square minus 2. 2 times 3 minus 3 minus 21 which is 7 times 3 minus 21 is equal to 0 therefore x minus 3 is a factor of f of x that's all let's move on to next part factorize f of x okay the f of x is this x square minus 2 times 2x minus 3 minus 21 first expand the bracket you will get 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 6 minus 21 so f of x is 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x minus 15 and from part B, we know already x minus 3 is a factor. So you can just use long division method to divide this so that you can factorize. I'm going to use a long division method here. 2x cubed minus 3x square minus 4x minus 15. We are going to divide it by x minus 3. Take 2x square and multiply this. You will get 2x cubed minus 6x squared change the sign this will be cancelled 3 plus minus 3 plus 6 is 3x squared bring down the next term so you need to multiply x minus 3 by plus 3x so you'll get 3x squared minus 9x change the sign this will be cancelled minus 4 plus 9 you'll get just 5x bring down the next term minus 15 multiply x minus 3 by plus 5 you should get 0 because x minus 3 is a fact so you can write therefore f of x is equal to the divisor times the quotient Now is that it? No. You need to fully factorize it. So you need to factorize this quadratic also. So let's put it in our calculator. 2, 3, 5. You get in terms of i. It's a complex number. What does that mean? This cannot be factorized. So this is the factorized form. You can't do anything else. Now they say show that f of x equals 0 has only one root this is the one row now we need to show them this cannot be solved so you take 2x square plus 3x plus 5 is 0 find the discriminant b square minus 4ac is 9 minus 40 is less than 0 therefore no real roots for this one so here no real root for this one so only real root is x minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 3 is the only root is the only root that's all